This is cycle two, week five science. This is uh, experiment number 13 in Van Cleve's book, Expanding. This is a neat uh, little experiment. It's an experiment that everybody can do uh, and, and will enjoy doing. Uh, to do this experiment, you need uh, a couple of mirrors for the students and balloons. In addition to that, you need uh, markers. I used Sharpies to mark these balloons and that works very well. Mostly I just used the Sharpies because uh, at our house as a homeschool family, we have lots of different Sharpies and I like to remind the children that they're not allowed to touch them, but mom does let dad play with the Sharpies, at least on occasions. Okay, so I'd like to zoom in now. We, we take the balloon at the start of this experiment and uh, in, in Van Cleve's book, they suggest putting about 20 dots randomly on the surface of the balloon. I think that's a good idea and that's what I would do for the students, but for your demonstration, I would start with just three. And in fact, one of them, I wouldn't use a dot. I would make one as an X, and then I used different colored Sharpies. So this is red, and this is blue. And so I spaced them out uh, on the surface of the balloon. Uh, especially for the older kids, I would consider getting a, a cloth tape measure so that you can measure how far apart from the, the blue dot is from the X and how far the red dot is from the X. This is in its unexpanded state. Right, and now what we're going to do then is we're going to blow up the balloon. We're going to blow up the balloon, and then we're going to look um, at, as the balloon expands, at the change in distance um, from the red dot to the X initially here to the expanded state. The same thing for the blue dot. And then what we also want to look at and see is the rate of change. So we will notice um, the students, you want to ask the question, which dot is moving away from the X the fastest? And so see what the students say. So now we're going to blow up the balloon. Okay, so now we see that the, the distance between the X and the red dot has changed from in the unexpanded state, and the distance way, the blue dot's way over here. So it's much bigger. And in fact, the blue dot moved uh, out of the field of view, or very nearly out of the field of view. It moved away much, much faster uh, than the red dot. That is an illustration of uh, Hubble's law. Hubble's law says that our universe is expanding, and that the galaxies that are farther away from us are moving away from us faster than the galaxies that are close to us. So Hubble's law says the universe is expanding and the galaxies that are farthest away are moving away the fastest. That is the same Hubble for whom the um, Hubble telescope is named. That's Dr. Edwin Hubble, a very famous uh, astronomer. Um, this is a good illustration uh, of that principle. And then if for each of the students, again, if they were to take their balloon and to have maybe 20 or 30 different dots uh, drawn on the surface of it, uh, I still suggest you start with one as an X and you tell the students that represents Earth. That's us as the observer and now each dot is a galaxy that is surrounding our galaxy, far, far away, stars that are far away, and we're watching them uh, as they move. And then the students, as they're blowing up their balloon, they can use their mirror uh, to watch as the dots move and they can see it for themselves. If you don't have enough uh, mirrors or if that's not easy to do, you can have the students just look at each other's balloons as they're changing. And they want to identify again uh, which dots are moving away from the X the fastest. This is Cycle 2, Week 5 Science, Experiment Number 13, Expanding.